Let's go over three multiple choice questions about the rough ER. There's gonna be an easy one, a medium one, and a hard one. Here's the first question. What does the ER stand for in rough ER? The reason why this is easy is because you just have to memorize what does ER stand for. If you look through the answers, D here is the right answer. ER in the rough ER stands for endoplasmic reticulum. Here's the medium question. Which of the following statements about the rough ER is false? A, rough ER participates in protein synthesis. No, it definitely does, so that one's not the right answer. B, rough ER consists of interconnected membranes. Yeah, it has interconnected membranes with the smooth ER and even the nucleus, so that's correct, so it's not the answer. C, rough ER is covered in ribosomes. Yeah, that's why it's called the rough ER. D, rough ER makes all of a cell's proteins. Well, it doesn't make all of the cell's proteins. There are free-floating ribosomes that will make cytoplasmic protein, so that looks like the answer because it's not right. And E, rough ER is found in eukaryotic cells. No, it definitely is found in eukaryotic cells. This is why, again, D here is the right answer. Here's the hard question. Rough ER malfunction would most directly affect which type of protein? Remember that the rough ER is going to make proteins that are going to be extracellular proteins. These are ones that are going to go outside of the cell. So A, cytoskeletal proteins. Nope, those are found within the cell. That's not our answer. B, nuclear transcription factors. Nope, that's inside the cell, so no. C, secreted enzymes. Remember that enzymes are proteins. Secreted means they're going to be pushed out of the cell. That looks like our answer. D, mitochondrial matrix proteins. No, the rough ER doesn't make those, no. And then E, cytoplasmic metabolic enzymes. No, again, those are going to be made by free-floating ribosomes. This is why C is the right answer.